Folks, welcome to the heartland, Bloomington, Indiana, and the home of the Hoosiers. Memorial Stadium, where Lee Corso used to patrol the sidelines, is awake and ready for this game today. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into the snake pit of an environment just trying to get out alive. This will be fun, as we'll see the number nine team in the land, the Michigan Wolverines, taking on another squad from the Big Ten, the Indiana Hoosiers. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. We'll kick this away to start us off. Bringing it out, it's Williams. Tackle at the 13. Not great field position to start the drive. The Hoosiers offense in less than ideal position off that poor return. And here he comes, the quarterback, all eyes on him. He's the guy that just makes everything go. Well, this guy's Mr. Do-It-All. It's almost odd to say this about a quarterback, but he truly does. He's the echo of the coach and the connector of this offense. When everyone is hooked up to him, this team operates at maximum capacity. And that usually means their opposition is in trouble. The defense spreads all over the field playing zone, trying to make this quarterback make a mistake by throwing it into coverage. But he finds a soft spot on the curl and picks up a first down. The shotgun running play call. Gets past the tackler into open space now. That one takes it across the 30-yard line. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. There's the handoff. The game good for just a few yards. The defense swarming to the football. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. That run sets up a critical third down play. Can he get there on the ground? Tackle at the 40, let alone a fresh set of downs. Well, I know it's here early in this game, but boy, this is what you want to see as an offense. You get to these third downs, it's all about trying to create opportunities and momentum, and that's what they've done here, converting to get a new set of downs. The Hoosiers churn out another first down. Change of pace, now looking to throw the football. Let's it go. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. You know, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. Incomplete, so it's second down and ten. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. But only a one-yard gain, so it's third and nine coming up. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Scanning the field. It's Rourke. Looks to the left. Pass caught. And a big gain moves the ball across midfield all the way to the 39. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check it out. And the Hoosiers lining up here on first and ten. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Second down play coming up. And he'll set up to throw. Makes a quick catch. They stop him at the 22. This offense in great scoring position now. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Offense moving into a bunch formation. 
caught in the backfield. It's McCulley. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. Well, a lot of times you match up a wide receiver, you get a linebacker on him. You'd like to think that the wide receiver can shake him. But this linebacker is really athletic and is able to make plays in space. Second down play coming up for this offense. Using his legs, it's Black. Fighting off the defender. Showcasing the shiftiness on that play. Defense finally brings him down. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. Little eye candy here from the offense. Some pre-snap motion. Try and muscle for the first down. Brought down, but it's past the line of the game. Well, that's a good, hard, tough running there to get that first down to keep this drive alive early in this game. The offense really asserting themselves. They're not thinking about a field goal. They're trying to put this ball in the end zone. The Hoosiers looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. Ball carrier brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. Coming up, second down and goal. It's a quarterback keeper. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Boy, you'd love to see a few more yards here to give yourself a better chance on third down. Now, here early in this game, we get a big third down to see if this offensive line can keep the pressure off the quarterback. Offense moving backwards here, a long way from the goal line now. Look at a throw on third and goal. Caught near the goal line. He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Indiana. Well, there's nothing more satisfying for an offense coordinator than having a quarterback that he can trust in these critical areas. Here you are, third and goal. What do you do? Put the ball in the hands of that quarterback. Whether he runs it in or throws it, you know he's going to make the right decision. Found the matchup, made the throw, and you get a touchdown to open the game. They'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7-0 open score. Kickoff team is on the field to move this one away. And it's fielded. Can the returner make something happen here? Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. So Michigan's offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. Got a great matchup today, Kirk, of elite corners. They put these guys on islands, and they believe they can shut down anybody across from them. If you're going to have a great defense right now in college football, you better be able to cover on the outside. And these two teams happen to have the two of the top corners in the game. How much fun is this going to be to watch these guys today? You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups. And the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Takes the handoff again. He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards of pop like that. Third down play, looking for a fresh set of downs. To throw, it's Orgy. Good throw to the left. He's got it for a big game. And the game just good enough for a first down. 
on the third. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. And the Wolverines line up on first and ten now. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Quick completion to the tight end. Tackle is made very near midfield. Good enough for a first down. Well, Chris, you watch a completion like that and with the efficiency, it makes you kind of think back to all the quarterbacks and receivers that they've had who made it look this easy. Of course, you start with Tom Brady, but think of the year Brian Greasy had 1997, that national championship year. Chad Henney going back to Elvis Kerback and all the great receivers. So this is within their history. And it's good that they're leaning on. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Here's the second down play. On the handout, they'll test the right side here. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Sets up an important third down call for this offense. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Cannot connect. Incomplete. And now fourth down. Oof. The risk of throwing on third and short. Lots of second guessing going over on that sideline about that play call. You got to wonder if they're going to go for it anyway on fourth down. But what will be the play call? The offense will go for it here on fourth down and three. Back to pass. It's Orgy. He's running out of time here. And he's swarmed by the pass rush. A sack to end this drive. Now, the quarterback's got to get the ball out of his hands. He had a lot of time back there in the pocket, looking over the field, desperately trying to find an open receiver. Nobody's open, but he still has got to take off or try to make a play. Instead, he's sacked, and it's a turnover on downs. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. Grab behind the line. It's Horton. Defense drops him for a loss. Tougher second down on the way. You know, what separates good defenses from great defenses is you're going to give up some catches. But what do you do after the offense makes the reception? Are you giving up much space? Are you giving up yards after the catch? Here, just a really good job by this defense. Yeah, they gave up a reception, but right there to make a nice tackle for a loss. It's a draw play. And they bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the marker. The draw is a good way to keep the defensive line in check and use their aggressiveness against them. It can be real effective, even in passing situations, if you mix it in correctly. Crucial third down play right here. Hand it off for a draw. They stop him for a two-yard gain, which will bring up fourth down. How about that, Chris? They run the football here on third down, almost pick up the first down. What it does, though, is it gives them a much better chance if they decide to go for this and picking up that first down. And out comes the field goal unit. This is a daunting attempt from 54 yards out. Let's see if he's got the leg. And it sails right through the middle of the uprights. Solid kick. And that will extend their lead even further. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. They're returning from inside the 10-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. Hoping to improve in the last drive. They got stopped on fourth down, and it ended up costing them a field goal. 
Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you've got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Looking to pass. It's Orgy. Quick throw complete to the tight end. Hey, Chris, give him credit. It was nice technique to be able to hold on for that catch and stay in bounds, but he didn't go very far. That short completion sets up a third down play. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Here's a wide open receiver, complete. They bring him down, but that's a good play. Moves the ball to the 39. That's a great play by this offense to keep the drive alive and a good find by the quarterback on third down. The Wolverines with first and 10 here. He'll hand it off. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. Of course they're going to pick up the first down by running the football. You think about Michigan, you think so many legacy, incredible backs that they've had over the years. Tim Biakabatuka and Tyro Wheatley and Leroy Hoare. Man, so many good backs have come through Ann Arbor. So Kirk, Indiana has the lead here. And as we reach the end of one, the lead is starting to mount. Let's take a quick look at the first quarter stats before we move on. As we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. And at first down, they go right back to him. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with, the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Ball handed to the running back. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? And the quarterback keeps it on the option. One down after picking up five yards, so second and five. Well, if you're going to run the read option, you're going to have to keep your eye on that defensive end. If he collapses down inside to the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself as a quarterback to the outside. Now, if he stays outside, you're going to go ahead and leave it in the running back's belly. In this case, he pulled it and got some good yards himself. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. This offense really threatening now. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. He hands it to the back. And they finally stop him, but a decent gain that time. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. The Wolverines are in the red zone. Now they'll switch it up, looking to throw the ball here. Caught near the sideline. It's Moore. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. Always have to be careful on the sideline not to step out accidentally. The wide receiver does a good job here on the route to bring the ball in while on a tight rope. First and ten play coming up. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Makes the grab, a chance to score. Tackle at the six-yard line after the completion. Offense really threatening now. 
Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. One man at the backfield, and he'll get the football. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. Oh, just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range and they didn't cost themselves any points, but they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. The offense couldn't convert on fourth down the last time in this situation. Let's see if they can this time. Looking downfield, it's Orgy. And he's brought down a sack for the defense coming up big on this fourth down play. Love the aggressive nature here by this defense on this fourth down. The offense is going for it, and instead of sitting back, they decide to attack that offensive front. They get after him with a lot of bodies, and they're able to come up with that sack. And the Hoosiers offense is back out there on the field. The last drive produced three points thanks to an excellent long-range field goal. Motion now from the tight end. Handoff here from the shotgun. One down after a seven-yard game, so it's second and three. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. A pop pass on the jet sweep. He shreds the tackle. That'll pick up the first down. He's brought down to the 21. A nice little simple touch pass here by the quarterback, getting the ball out to the receiver who's in motion. Look, that doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down, and no offense is ever going to say no to moving the chains. Here's a first and ten play. Here's the handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Yeah, you know this defense has got to be frustrated after giving up multiple conversions now on first downs. There's another one. But for the offense, they're just playing very efficiently right now. And the Hoosiers keep the football on the move. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Now it's second down here. Dropping back. It's a war. Defense is coming after him. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. Just outstanding combination of quickness and strength here by this Michigan defensive lineman. Makes me think of Aiden Hutchison, who, of course, played here recently. Going back to guys like Rashawn Gary, Lamar Woodley, Frank Clark. Great tradition of Michigan defensive linemen on full display right now. After consecutive losses, you need a miracle here on third and a mile. You snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Snags the quick throw. Defense wraps him up after a six-yard gain. Brings up fourth down. Great job here by the defense. Third down and long. You drop back in coverage, keep everything in front of you, force that quarterback to have to check the ball down, and then you rally to the football to force his fourth down. Great job here by the D. 
The Hoosiers will bring their punt team onto the field. On the punt now for the first time today. And the return brought down by the coverage team. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. The last time they had it going, they got stopped on fourth and goal. They got to put that behind them now. Put together something here. A change of direction. They tackle him right at the 35-yard line. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Got him for a sack. A big play made by one of the senior leaders of this defense. I mean, that's another sack, Chris. I mean, we're just getting started here. First half, and you're already talking about giving up three sacks. You've got to think about changing things up schematically, help that offensive line, and help that poor quarterback before he gets killed. So it's third and long from the 29. The defense play coverage or blitz? Looking to pass, it's Orgy. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. Defense will wrap them up after an eight-yard gain. It'll bring up fourth down. And the Wolverines will have to kick it away. He's on looking for a solid punt here. With the return, it's Price. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. And he just throws that one away. Took a big shot, but avoids the sack. the play call here on second down for this offense. They'll give it to the back. They tackle him right at the 35-yard line. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab down the middle. It's Price. He stopped it with the 45, but that's good for a first down. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down, and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. And the Hoosiers come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Dropping back. It's Rourke. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And the defense swarms, not much of a gain on that completion. Boy, wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. Wideout's now clustered. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Well, the defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. It's the two-minute warning. We've got a blowout developing here before halftime. Offense facing third and short, approaching midfield. Can they convert here, or will they face a tough fourth down decision? And he drops back in the gun. Caught over the middle. It's Horton. And he's tackled just short of that first down marker. Good job by the defense. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. The Hoosiers will line up to boot it away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And 
the coverage team makes the touch so no return on the play and the Michigan offense comes back out on the field time is running out before halftime to cut into this now two possession lead handoff to the back he breaks free now has room to run heads out of bounds after a solid gain more than enough to pick up a first down well, the big fellow's Kirk flowing to the right there. The defense just has no answer. It's a huge gain. Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back, just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right. And then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that hole to show you what kind of speed he has for a big gain in the first down. Short throw complete to the tight end. They bring him down, but a solid gain there in the first down. Looks to be just inches short of the marker. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. Looking to throw, it's Orgy. Tries the right with a quick throw. Tried to go very deep there. Good effort. Now it's third down. That ball just seemed to sail on You got to make sure to give your receiver a chance to be able to come down with a catch and bounce because in today's game, man, these receivers make catches like this all the time. And if you put the ball out of bounds, you're not going to give them that opportunity. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Grab near the sticks. It's more. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Well, when you play zone defense on third down and you don't get pressure from your defensive line, you're going to give a quarterback a lot of time to be able to find an open receiver and eventually get the first down. Not surprised at all that they cannot escape that ferocious pass rush to sack. I can't believe the amount of pressure this defense is getting on this quarterback. Sack after sack. Well, you've got to think about changing things up. The snap count, the scheme, anything at all to help this offensive line. They're overmatched so far in this game. They'll crank up the tempo here on second down. The time is running out. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. Now the offense will spend a timeout here. Wanting to come up with a perfect call on this important play coming up. Offense looking to keep the drive going here. Third and short now from the 44. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here. Third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. Oh, it landed at the seven and bounced into the end zone for a touchback. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. They're going to run it. Solid run. They'll bring it down at the 28-yard line. Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. Looks like we've got a terrific atmosphere there in Bloomington. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And on that note, time to throw it back to our guys at the stadium. And the Hoosiers will kick it off to begin the second half. Fielded in the end zone. It's Morris. Tackled at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. First play of the second half is a handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness for getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Grab down the middle. It's Klein. 
They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Urgency now for the offense. They hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. They're going to throw for it on third and short. And he's got it. You get him down, but that's a nice play. Moves the ball to the 33. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. The Wolverines will have first and ten here. Dropping back, it's Orgy. It's complete. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. That completion makes it second and medium. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Defense are going to keep the pressure up on this third down. Drop him back. Look at a throw for the first down. Finds his man. It's Morris. And he'll get the first down yard before they finally bring him down. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. First down. We're going to throw the football. Caught over the middle. It's Klein. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Boy, he has such great size. I just love this play call on first and ten. The defense is expecting a run. Instead, you go play action, and you throw it to the big man for some positive yards on first and ten. And second down after that completion. And off in a single back formation. The Wolverines pick up first down yards to keep the drive going. Well, it was a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. Still searching for their first touchdown of the game, but on the move now. It's first and ten. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Well, I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Getting set. Here's second down. It's a quick grab. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. An important third down attempt for this offense. Can he make it to the marker? And he picks up the first down, tackled at the 32. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game to get to a third down. Just trying to come up with a way to be able to keep this drive alive, keep hope alive that you can come back in this game. You rely on all reliable with that offensive line, and they come through for you. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Breaking tackles. They stop him after a six-yard game. So second and four. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice gain. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. 
They stop him, but it's a first down. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half, and he's already at it again. And the Wolverines are looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. And then first down, right back to the running game. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. There's that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. To the air, it's Orgy. Bringing pressure. It's incomplete. He was hit as he flew that time. And now third down coming up. Chris, this offensive coordinator is going to have to adjust. We've seen hits and sacks and pressure on this quarterback all game long. They've got to find a solution to create more time for the quarterback to be able to throw the football or maybe completely overhaul and change what they're doing on offense. And he'll drop back here on third down. He's moving out of the pocket. He'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Very efficient on third down, and now it's first down and goal. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. No way to run up the middle. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Here's the handoff testing the middle. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. When they get stopped here on second down, it's going to bring up a third and goal situation. And from this far back out, wouldn't be surprised to see them go through the air. Just don't want the quarterback to take a sack here. Make sure he gets the ball out of his hands quickly. The offense has been moving backwards here. Now a long way to go on third and goal. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. He was looking for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. So on fourth down, the decision is to trot out the field goal team. They'll set up at the right hash mark for this chip shot. Kick is up and no good. After the miss, they're still down by 10. Now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. The poor kicker. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. This has been a struggle so far for both offenses. Can they finally get something going here? He shreds the tackle. Again, makes it second and medium. And now the running back's got it again. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. First down and 10 now. Quarterback still with the football. Football comes out. Defense recovers the fumble. It's a turnover. Oh, what a play by this defense. Trailing in the second half. Really, the only way you can get back into this game is create turnovers. Ball's on the ground. They pounce on it, and they get the ball back to their own offense. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. They need something out of this possession. The last time they settled for a field goal attempt, but then they missed it. 
but they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. All of this pressure and sacks are starting to impact this quarterback. You can sense that internal timer is sped up a bit more than usual. Incompletion makes it second down. Going to run it. It's Edwards. After missing the field goal on their last drive, they got to prove something here in third down to even get into field goal range. Drop in back. We're going to throw for the first down. Grab down the middle. It's Moore. Tackle made after a big game. Well, you talk about a huge conversion. That's third and long. It doesn't matter for these guys. They just keep going about their business. Great connection between this quarterback and receiver on that one. And now they're in business. The Wolverines will line up here on first down and goal. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, the play is just blown up by the big fella in the middle, Kirk, showing some quickness for his size. Yeah, we know about his power, but how about his ability to penetrate there? And that's the quickest way to blow up a run game, is that interior penetration. If you're able to break through the middle of that offensive line, then you can create a lot of havoc in the middle. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. Chris, I just don't know about short games like this, especially keeping the ball on the ground. The clock keeps moving. They need points on that scoreboard in a hurry. Got to throw the football. You cannot afford to allow this clock to keep ticking. They come up two yards of the goal line. Can they punch it in here on third down? On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And that is just a great job by this defense on third down. Getting penetration, they come up with a loss. Now, it's a big decision. Fourth down, as an offensive coordinator, you've been going backwards. What do you call? Still down by double digits in the third quarter. They're going to go for it on fourth down. They'll try and run it with the fullback. And he's not going to get there. The defense rises up and makes a huge fourth down stop. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Hat on the hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. Backed up on third down. Let's see what the call is. They need some breathing room for the punter at the very least. Let's check out this running back comparison. These guys have been excellent, pounding away and seemingly only getting stronger. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. One of those critical third down plays coming up. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. And the play goes nowhere. Picked up about a yard, but it'll be fourth down. Fourth down. The Hoosiers will send the punt team onto the field. Gets the kick away from his own end zone. Oh, and he's got a crease here. Look out. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. The last time they were stopped on fourth and goal. Rolled the dice, came up empty. Can they get it going again here? Finding enough space for a solid game before they stop it. Oh, man, this guy's having a heck of a day. Now, they may not win this game today, 
but you cannot fault his effort, what he's been able to do. He's been the one bright spot as that last carry now puts him over the 100-yard mark. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking downfield, it's Orgy. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. This offense getting closer to the red zone. Chris, that's a huge play for this offense. And keep in mind, they haven't scored a point yet. So to be able to come up with a play like this late in the game, maybe some confidence building here to be able to get that first touchdown. Who knows? Maybe they could be in business. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Caught over the middle. It's Morris. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. How about the offense here dialing up a good zone beater? Let's give credit to the coordinator for calling the right play at the right time and the receiver finding the hole in that zone. The Wolverines begin a new series here, first and ten. The pre-snap motion from the offense. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Chris, I always talk about this. You can always gauge a team's toughness as a group by how willing they are to tackle with their corners. Here, the corner shows you he's not just out there to cover, does a good job of being physical and making that play. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Takes the handoff. It's Edwards. And he's brought down after a short game. Does not make the first down yardage. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. He's got it, looking for the end zone. Man, Chris, when you're down by a couple of scores late in a game like this, you need to find matchups where you can get the ball thrown downfield. Here it's a completion, but it doesn't get them very much. Now they've got a fourth down play coming up. So on fourth down, out trots the place kicker in a very big spot here. He missed it. Field goal, no good. After the miss, they're still down by 10. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. And the Hoosiers offense is back out there on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. A shotgun run call goes backwards, losing three yards there. Loses three. Second down coming up. After the first down loss, it's second and long from the 17. Receiver in motion now. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. They bring him down, that's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. Boy, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces the defense to stretch them out horizontally. They could create some vertical seams for this offense. They got some positive yards, didn't quite get the first down, but I'll tell you what they've done, planted a seed on this defense that they better defend this style of play moving forward. Let's it go quickly. And he's got his man open downfield. Tackled at the 44, but good enough for a first down. Well, why not, Chris? Here we are in the fourth quarter. It's third down. This guy's been making plays all game long. Go back to him again, and it works out. The offense is clicking, and the defense just searching for answers now. And there's the handoff. They test the middle there, but get nothing. That's a great play all around by this defense. Their first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Offense getting set. It's second down. Scanning the field. It's Wark. 
And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? Dropping back, we're gonna throw for the first down. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. That moves the football inside the 40 and it's another first down. Oh, that one really hurts for this defense. They get these guys to third down, a chance to maybe get them off the field, and they give up a first down late in the game. The clock will continue to roll. And the Hoosiers pick up enough yardage to get a fresh set of downs. Handoff here from the shotgun. I like to run play here. And offensively, at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. This drive has already chewed more than three minutes off the clock. They'll come up on second down now. Ball handed off. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. They've converted both third down attempts on the drive so far, but now it's third and eight. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Grab down the middle, it's Price. They make the stop, but not before a solid gain that time. Well, he's been their go-to guy all game long. They needed a big play there on third down. They go his way again, and it works out. The Hoosier starting a new series here on first and ten. And here's the handoff. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. That's exactly how you want to start this drive, working with the lead in the fourth quarter. Take as much time off this clock as possible. That's a great way to get this drive started. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Here comes the handoff. Stop short the marker after just a short game. So here we go, third down in the red zone, the kind of play that decides football games. Gonna pick up the third and short through the air. Or just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. Interesting call here, Chris, to throw the ball on third and short, unable to come up with the first down. Now here at fourth down, you got a big decision to make. Do you kick the field goal just to add to the lead, or maybe go for this here with a chance to drop the hammer? So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. And it's good. And they add to their lead. And that one, my gosh, I mean, that's almost too easy. Nice kick. Come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. Here comes a first down pass attempt. And it's incomplete. He just missed his target, overthrowing it. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass you've got to have to come up with and make a catch. Offense facing a second and ten. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Makes a quick grab. And he'll make his way out of bounds and gain decent yardage. Love the timing here between the quarterback 
in his receiver. Pick up some positive yards and continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Grab near the sticks. It's Morris. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Hey, it's a nice game here, and they get the first down to stop the clock. But late in the game, trailing by a couple scores, these receivers have got to be thinking about getting out of bounds as often as they can to preserve that clock to give them a real shot to come back to win it. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Looking to throw yet again. He lets it go. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Chris, I think the pressure is taking a toll on this quarterback. You can just tell the pass rush is affecting his progressions and his willingness to throw it away. Second down after that previous play. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Big play in enemy territory all the way to the 41 yard line. Well, there's something, Chris, we haven't seen much from this offense all day. Finally, a big play downfield. And the Wolverines hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Looking to throw it on first down. Quarterback escapes the pocket. Looking to scramble now. And they get him down, but that's a solid game there to move the sticks using his feet. Boy, this guy can do it all. We know what he can do with his arm, but when things aren't there, does a good job of pulling it down, knowing where the first down marker is, picking up the first down. The Wolverines getting set on first and ten. To throw, it's Orgy. Throws to the tight end. And he pulls in the catch. Touchdown, Michigan. Strong game by this quarterback. That's a crucial score for it. Makes it a one-possession game and makes the stretch run of this very interesting. Yeah, now the pressure turns to their opponent and their offense. Momentum is starting to tilt, and it's your job to go into your four-minute offense. But I'd expect this defense to be extra aggressive to try to get this ball back. See if they can convert the point after. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Returner decides to field it. And he's brought down at the 16. It would have been better off for the end in the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Indiana offense back out on the field. First down, we're going to throw the ball. The sure hands. It's McCulley. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. But well, how about this aggressive approach by this offense? They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and these guys are continuing to throw the football. I think the offense coordinator understands that he can't allow his team to get too comfortable or complacent, even with having a lead here in the fourth. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Grab behind the line. It's McCulley. Finds just enough space and makes the first down. It's an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding that window between the zones and delivering the ball on time. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? They'll use that running game, trying to bleed the clock here. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Important second down play coming up.
From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. The offense facing a tough conversion here, third and long from the 42. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Nowhere to go, the ball not loose. So the offense retains possession and avoids a catastrophic turnover. He catches a break here. Ball is on the ground. It ends up bouncing right back to him to avoid a disaster for the offense. They'll kick it away here. Running it back. It's Morgan. Coverage team brings down the returner. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Looking for the wideout. Oh, would have been a game-clenching interception. Couldn't hold on. Brings up second down. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands? Sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Back to throw. It's Scorgi. Pressure is coming. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. Now that's going to bring up a critical third down here as we're late into this football game and a drive where they need points. This quarterback's got to take control of this huddle, make sure everybody's on the same page. You have multiple plays that you can go to, whether it's a run or a pass, but you've got to come up with a first down. Fires it to the wideout, but they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you've got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. The pocket breaking down. And he stops short. Huge play by the defense on fourth down. They will take over protecting this lead. And it's a kneel down. 